Okay, we are installing code ready containers from Red Hat, which uh, is a very good way to start as a developer to preview the OpenShift container platform. So to download it, you need to have an account on Red Hat website. So visit cloud.redhat.com slash openshift slash create and once you have the account under sandbox you can create a cluster either on the cloud or data center or sandbox we are trying the code ready containers under sandbox or for a developer preview so for that you can download this website you know this uh, linux tar file code ready containers select your operating system as linux and click on this and download this uh, pull secret also and after that it is very easy first thing is you need to have an account as I told you once you have the account you visit the URL download it after that what after that you visit this uh, extract the file you see here I'll show you the history of commands as root user and then I'll show you the history this is the downloaded file CRC Linux AMD 64 bit this is 2.2 GB so this will take some time it took me around half an hour for my system I downloaded it I downloaded the pull secret which was given just below that and you can see the pull secret here cat pull secret so this is the pull secret which will be required to set up your machines now once you extract the file you uh, after using the command tar hyphen x v f and then file name so after you extract the file go to the website uh, go to this directory that is crc and under that there's a binary called crc this is a quite uh, big binary ls hyphen l you see the size is if you see in human readable form this is nearly 2.6 gb size move it to uh, your bin or your path that is searchable path I have moved it into the user local bin directory so that I can access it directly once you access it you have to switch to non privileged user and as an unprivileged user non privileged user you try the command like crc hyphen hyphen help will give you the command CRC setup it will not allow you to work because it will say that it should be run as a normal user then you switch to normal user as you for example I switch to sangwan user su hyphen sangwan and then you run the command CRC setup it will start the setup and it will ask you the pull secret which you have downloaded using cat command you copy from there and paste it here once you paste it it, is, it has taken some time like uh, for me it took me around 15 minutes to start this so uh, this process whole process take around 15 minute time and after that you see you will get these details on your system start OpenShift cluster to access the cluster first set up your environment by following instruction written by executing CRC OCENV and this is what I'm doing in front of you right now so CRC this will set up the environment after that then you can access your cluster by running OC login hyphen u developer hyphen p developer and the URL of the website and uh, also uh, to login as a cluster admin you can run OC login hyphen u kube admin hyphen p that is the password and this will login so let's run the cluster you can access the cluster let's access it by using this command environment variable is set so OC login so OC command not found that means environment variable not set so we need to run this command to configure the shell so as you see the command is given export path let's give this command and second this is the command we need to specify and after that we will be able to execute this command OC login developer environment and this command let's try this now so this will access the uh, prompt and yes insecure connection login successful you don't have any project now you are working 
OC new project you can execute the project you can create a project like OC new project project name all right oh sorry OC new project project name copy and paste it here let's say skillpedia so the project is created so you can see that new project is on the server and you can visit the URL also you can add application to this project using new app command and you can try new app and this is a one example so basically our objective was to uh, deploy this cluster deploy this uh, OpenShift cluster platform and we have done it now to access it that was uh, installation part very quick installation quick setup part next session will be working with OpenShift and will deploy a container image container on OpenShift all right thank you very much for watching bye, -bye.